departing town for our first night ride in the new Frogmobile. And look for some Christmas lights. And arriving at the place we call the Gingerbread Village. I won't say where this is for the protection of the people out here, out of respect, but here it is. How about their electric bill? Yep. Imagine their bill in January, what it's going to be. Yeah, I'll pay it. Even up there in the distance. I guess some folks just have modest displays. But to me, that ain't too modest. But compared to the woman I just showed you right up here, I guess it is modest. Check that out. That's what I was telling you about with the electric bill. And folks try by here just to check it out. The whole backyard is lit up. With about a hundred million light bulbs. But there you have it. Electric bill and all. Wonder how many thousand light bulbs are in this entire display. Also, hope nobody thinks I'm casing the place. Yeah, they might think I'm casing this place. Got more there in the distance. But even here at one time, there were way more lights than you're seeing now. But that one house back there in the corner. Still goes all out. And a song by Credence about putting a candle in the window. Those folks there took it too seriously. He put one in every window. In the distance, more lights again. And to the right again, some place is the house with a candle in every window. Oh, it's down further, okay. Oh, it's right there. Just don't burn the place down with all them candles. Now they're electric anyway, never mind. Again, more lighting there. And some over here as well, to the west. But up at their electric bill would be bad enough, let alone the first house I showed you. Yeah. I'll be like them there, be real modest. And again, the first place I showed you, with more gawkers. Raw gawkers tonight. All over, even in the backyard. But there you have it. Something to gawk at. Alright, had our fun at this location. I think there's one more location yet where there's some lights. And now passing through Pleasantville, just like in that movie from the 1990s, as you can probably tell. One of the clue I'm giving you as to where those houses were, out of respect for those people's privacy. But I can't black out that highway number. Oh well. And that's a party, Pleasantville. 
as again you can tell. But a few days back, a fellow YouTuber put up a video of him driving the other way. Wonder if he knows who he is. I didn't want to say where those houses were that were all lit up. Out of respect for those folks' privacy. But if you're putting up all those lights, can you expect privacy? Yeah, right. Up here at the light, a house on the right also gets all decked out for each season. Let's see if they're decked out now. No, they're all dark. Wow. Not this year, folks. Well, I gotta find somewhere else to go. Now south on Harford Road. The only clue you're getting. They gotta keep the music low. So YouTube won't mess me up on it. I'm playing Christian music right now. YouTube even hates Christian music. That makes YouTube the Antichrist. And there'll be more lights here. And more Harford Road. Formerly Harford Turnpike. Up until 1909. There we go again with the history. And got some action coming our way. I think. Let's have a closer look. Let's mosey on up. Alright, what's happening here? Something. Sirens. Well, down there. Where's the fire? Oh, it's a Christmas thing. It's Santa Claus. Back to you two. Had me fooled. Had me going. All right, I am so out of here. And now for some lights in my old hood. But mom still lives in this hood. Let's try to do I, a couple of days out of the week. But in the 60s, every house was lit up. Or practically every house anyway. Bittersweet times back then. And over there, the house of a good friend of mine named Lou. Yeah, Lou still goes all out. Sort of. You know, Lou still does this thing. But ever since Dad's passing in 2003, Mom hasn't done very much herself. And more there up the street. Alright guys, and gals if you're watching, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year too.